this is a butter churn. It was established in the early 1900s and the Standard Churn Company of Wapakoneta, Ohio was established in 1889. By the early 1900s, they were producing around 40,000 turns per year. This model is known as a wood box turn on legs. This is modern day butter that is manufactured in large quantities in factories. You can buy it at your local food store and the options are endless for its use. This is the Singer sewing machine. This was a type of machine that a salesman went around the homes as a sample. This sample allowed for the customers to look at the model and see how easy it was to use. In modern days, we don't often use sewing machines to make our whole wardrobes, but in case you do want to make something, there are modern day sewing machines. You use pedals that are electric and they zoop, make your clothes. Coffee grinders in the 19th century range from box type grinders designed to grind coffee from one to four servings to wall mounted grinders, some of which could hold a pound or more of beans at a time. Nowadays, you can buy electric coffee grinders that will grind your coffee with a push of the button. But more commonly, people buy pre-ground coffee. This apple peeler model was part of the 1800s, and the wooden handle on the wheel makes apple peeling or peach paring a smooth ride. It easily clamps on the table or kitchen shelf. When you hook it up to the table and turn a hand crank while it peels off slender strips at a time, this process takes a lot of time and gives you quite a workout. Even though there's old day apple peelers around, people use more efficient things that are a little bit faster. This is the metal iron. Some irons were shallower boxes and had fitted slugs or heaters that were slabs of metal, which were heated in the fire and inserted into the base instead of charcoal. It was easier to keep the ironing surface spotlessly clean away from the fuel than with flat irons or charcoal irons. Brick inserts could be used for a longer lasting, less intense heat. This is a present day iron. All you have to do is plug it in, squirt some water on your clothes, and try to get rid of those vicious wrinkles. This is an antique rake made in the 1800s. It was homemade using only one bolt to hold the whole thing together. It was one of the first models of rakes used on farms and yards for leaves and debris. Rakes sort of look like this. They have these little gripper things and you clean up the debris on the ground. So it kind of works in a motion like this. And you just, you know, come zoom in here. <laughs> this is a metal tub. It was used in the mid to late 1800s. Bathing was a rare experience on the frontier. Typically, baths were only once a week, and bath water might have been used by everyone in the family. Sometimes, bath water then was recycled into water for laundry or light house cleaning. This is a modern day bathtub. It is made out of acrylic, and as you can see, there's a shower attached to this tub. Most modern-day bathtubs are now in a square or a rectangular formation. 